Hello everyone, welcome back to our another session of Altrex interview questions. So in the part one, we have discussed about 10 questions. In the part two also, we discussed uh, remaining 10 questions. And today we are going to discuss the last 10 questions. It may not be the last, but uh, for this particular uh, time, I have uh, created a list of 30 questions. So the remaining 10 questions, will be, we will be discussing it today. So if you're going for a job, if you're going and uh, applying for any Altrex developer jobs, and if you are sitting for any interviews uh, in coming time, then you should definitely visit this particular uh, session. So because what it will do, it will help you to understand Altrix in a different way, what you have been working all the time. Now, see, answering questions is a different thing and working on the real time project, both are different. I have seen a lot of people who have technical knowledge, but they can't explain the things in a right way, the way the interviewer want you to explain. Or you may not have the right words to explain that because you are mainly focusing on the technical and all. So if you know technical, if you can solve the problem but can't explain it, then it will be of no use. So you must understand that uh, the way uh, technical work uh, experience and uh, the way expertise matters, the same way it matters that you are able to explain your problems, explain your solutions to the interviewer or to the person. Because that way, it will help you that uh, the other person will think that you know the things about uh, what you are working on or what you are speaking. So the remaining 10 questions will start. If you have not seen the uh, previous two parts, then I request you to go there and check out the first two parts of interview for Altrix, interview questions for Altrix. So that will really help you if you want to uh, attempt Altrix interviews. So these are the uh, next 10 questions. So what are different types of macros? So uh, macros basically are used in uh, creating like automated processes, okay, where you want to bring up some kind of uh, workflows together and you want to repeat the same process again and again. In those kind of things, like you don't have to re uh, write the uh, workflow again and again. If you have used any kind of predictive to statistical uh, workflows and Altrex, then all those are nothing but macros. So th those are already created macros in which you just uh, provide your input variables and your output is given to you. So those are nothing but macros. Similar thing, you can do a lot from your side. So here we have four different types of macros in Altrix. So one is standard macro, batch macro, iterative and location optimizer macros. Out of it, like you will be using these macros a lot. So what kind of tools you have to use? Interface tools are the tools which will help you to create macros. If you have not worked on macros, I have seen many people who have just worked on a basic preparation and or cleaning kind of tools, but they have never uh, explored uh, macros uh, and we have many more other things like you have predictive tools, R based tools are there, you have special tools. So th those kind of two uh, tools are there which you need to explore a lot if you want to get expertise on Altrix. So the next question we have is Altrix Analytic app. So app is nothing but it's again a workflow with a user interface where user can interact with your workflow. They can provide some inputs and based on that, the result can be shown to them. So creating an analytic apps enable user, app user to execute a workflow using their own data and parameters. So they have to just specify the parameter. They have to specify the data and based on that, the result will be in front of them. Again, these parameters and apps, these are all defined by interface tools. So interface tools only will help you to do that. Then we have like constants. So constant is something which a lot of people might have not heard. But if you go and attempt any certification question, a cert certification, then you might come across these kind of questions. So what is a constant? What kind of values are there? So th basically these are the global variables which are defined in the workflows. Okay, in the configuration window. So you need to know where we need to define and all. So people might not ask you and I have been saying this thing many times earlier that do not uh, remember or do not memorize these lines. I do not suggest that. Okay, so one thing what I ask you is to try to understand the things, try to see that what are constants, where are these options in Altrex. Okay, and once you know and where is this located and what is the use of that, then you can explain these things very clearly to the interviewer. And once you explain the things clearly, uh, 
you are secured in that okay you, that job is yours no one is going to take that job away from you so that is main thing what i i am focusing on this and there are three types of constants for you okay so uh, engine question and user these are different three types of uh, constants and constant is basically a way by which uh, you can change or uh, you can change a value at single location and the same value will be changed everywhere so how this is happening because it's a global variable so you change variable at one place it will impact or the change will get applied automatically at other places so that is your constants what are interface tools these are the one of the most important part of altrix uh, uh, that is one thing which i ask everyone uh, to focus on because using this only you will be able to create your uh, macros using this only you can create your apps and using using these only you can automate the stuff in altrix basically so interface tools are the tools which will help you to do all the stuff macros apps are going to be done with the help of interface tools only so this is one thing which you have to focus all the time do not miss these things do not uh, skip these things okay so as i have been saying like you can check out my previous videos also where i have discussed about uh, macros and other tools altrix is as you know it's one of the <coughs> most popular software nowadays a lot of people are asking it a lot of people are using it and there are a lot of opportunities about uh, uh, altrix jobs which you can look at and you can upskill yourself uh, in in an industry or in an environment where we have to focus on our learning upskilling ourselves all the time uh, to secure our jobs or to get new opportunities new jobs then we have to keep on learning all the time so this is one thing which i always do and i always ask others to do that so what is the difference between join and multi join multiple so now we are focusing on the workflow side so there were few conceptual questions few things which people might miss definitely a lot of people miss even i did the same thing like initially i never focus on these kind of conceptual question but when i was asked these kind of things i had no answer so i don't want anyone to repeat so, such kind of mistakes so here uh, we have join and join multiple so how do we join the data what is the purpose of join multiple so a lot of people ask okay when i already have join why should i use join multiple or why can't i join uh, join multiple all the time so these are things which you will get once you use these two tools in your workflows now what happens why do we need to join the data see our data comes from different sources excel file okay we have like text files we have different web web services we have cloud sources and all that stuff databases and all now we have to combine these files so some information is in one table some information is another table and uh, all the table all the data we have to combine so we have to do unions we have to do joins okay so we have to do the data blending kind of thing it's nothing but a data blending <clears throat> so data blending you can do with the help of like joins join multiples and append tools are there and then you have <coughs> union so there are different types of tools which you can use to do all this data blending join tool is used in such cases where you want to combine two sources two sources means two tables source can be anything as i told you <coughs> so two tables and that defines like what kind of join type you will be having so you can have left outer right outer full outer inner join other than this you have like a right self right uh, self join and then you have left unjoined basically it is called as unjoined right unjoined and left unjoined so that will have all the requests uh, which are not matched uh with the uh, right and left table that is how you want to use it <coughs> so and based on that you will get a, a data blended uh, into a single table and you can take the output from there so that is a join tool which i hope everyone might have used in their real time um, exam projects and all that the way you do uh, v lookup okay so the way you do the v lookup it is nothing but it's a kind of join okay same thing the way you do a lot of people might have used excel so, so the way you do we look up it's a kind of join so i need to have a matching column through which i can relate the two tables i can join the two tables and then i can define that what should be my main data output data whether it should be left outer join right outer full outer and all uh, people who are uh, not aware of these joins and all that i am planning to start a sql uh, learning series also so that will be coming in uh, sometime 
uh, based on uh, my ability i'll check whenever i get time i'll start that thing uh, that too pretty soon again so sql series will help you to understand uh, about the sql learning from the layman side there are many uh, videos in our training and all that but i'll start the way i learned okay so that any person who whether you are technical non-technical or if you are trying or you are planning to come into the it industry then you can easily learn those things so i'll start from that way so here join multiple join multiple is nothing but uh, the way in join tool you are allowed to only join two tables at a time here you can join n number of tables okay but the output will be always a cartesian join cartesian join means uh, let's say you have uh, data uh, let's say it's basically number of records of one table multiplied by number of records on the table so it's called cartesian join so cartesian join will help you to do that okay but it combines all the data together whether they match or not match doesn't matter so it will bring you all the data and here you can add n number of tables then one of the most important uh, tools in Alteryx which are used is uh, formula and multi-field formula. So formula and multi-field formula, other than this, if I uh, tell you one of, another very, very important tool is multi-row formula. That tool gives you a kind of experience of magic. You can do almost magic kind of thing with those kind of tools. So that is another thing which I have not kept it here. <laughs> so what is the difference between formula and multi-field formula? People will definitely ask you because 99% uh, of the times your requirements cannot be done without using these tools. How will you do the requirements when you can't do the calculations? Calculations are based on formula and multi-field formula. Formula tool allows you to uh, write the new calculation, update the existing calculations. Remember that. Using the formula tool, you can write the new calculations or update the, uh, update the existing calculations. But it will allow you to update the existing one column only. But if you using the same calculation, you want to update another calculation or another formula, another column, okay, then you can use multi field formula. So it will impact the other columns also. So one formula, but um, impacting the multi impacting other, let's say two columns, three columns and also on. So that is multi field formula. So as I have mentioned here, so you can read about this thing, but don't memorize these things try it yours by yourself and then uh, understand the things so formula tool allows you to create new columns or modify existing columns while multi-field form allows you to modify multiple column based on single expression yes so two three four five it depends on your uh, expression your formula logic the way you are writing and you will be able to update that what are different types of alteryx outputs so these kind of questions you might come across in your certifications in your uh, interviews definitely people might ask you what are different types of formats are there okay file types of alteryx so the main these are the main files which you should be aware of okay there are many more but these are the main things which you should be aware of there are i believe more than uh, 20 i will say 20 plus file types but you should be aware of at least these five so alteryx workflow is yxmd alteryx database is yxdb alteryx macro is yxmc Alteryx apps is YXWZ and Alteryx field types is YXFT. Okay, so these are the different file types which you should be aware of. If you can remember many more, you can do that. But at least you should be aware of these things. Okay. And uh, the format in which Alteryx database mainly like to work is YXDB. Remember that. Okay, so that is few things which we will be coming across in our projects. Okay, that we tend to learn lot of things okay so real-time projects give you more experience then you have the last three questions for today so what are Alteryx tool containers so why this is used and also tool containers basically it's a way by which like you can organize your workflows see if randomly created workflow where the connections are going here and there tools are mapped here and there positions here and there no one is going to like that kind of workflows if you can see it's you are an artist here remember that so when you're creating a workflow, you are working on a canvas. And when you're working on a canvas, you are just behave like an artist. So the way artist creates a masterpiece or a kind of good art, the same way you have to make sure that your workflows are in a proper way, very like neatly aligned, all that stuff. So same way you can do that. And containers will help you to do that. So containers are nothing but it is used to organize the workflows. You can put required tools 
okay container so that it can be organized <clears throat> okay so how do we add the containers you can select the tools and then right click say container okay or you can use it through the option there so tool palette option so that thing you should be aware of if you have used it so next question is like which tool provides op options to select and select reorder and renaming columns now this is another very important question which is asked in interview so that uh, people will understand that you have worked on these kind of tools this is very common requirement and that too i will say is, is one of the very basic requirement okay which you will be doing all the time i will i will say 100 percent of your time you will be having this kind of requirement in every of your workflows so uh, selecting unselecting the required columns or un unwanted columns okay reordering the columns renaming the columns this is very basic thing so what all tools allows you to have the similar kind of functionality so we have select tool we have join tool we have append tool we have special match tool we have heard about select tool join tool what is append tool okay i have created a workflow on the um, uh, another video special another separate video on the altrix okay in my altrix series you can check it out so append tool will help you to do a lot of things so check it out that video and special match tool i have not created any videos on special match tool but i'll soon i'll be doing that special tools are one of the most important tools if you're working on geographical kind of data okay so mapping data geographical data then special tools will be really really helpful and that comes to our next question and one of the, uh, our last question for today what is the use of special tools okay the same way special match okay special match is nothing but a special tool so special analysis allows companies to analyze the locations okay locations means maps geographical information relationship attributes you can read about that and geospatial data to extract insight using geographical modeling special tool helps us to create workflows for these analysis now let's say you want to analyze the data in the radius of let's say uh, 300 miles okay you want to see that what all stores are part of 300 miles and uh, across um, 300 miles from your location in a radius of 300 miles okay so in that case you can use special tools there are different set of tools which can help you to do that okay and they will map it okay what are the locations where you can find your competition um, st stores and all okay so those kind of very fre uh, frequently asked questions from business related to geographic geographical locations okay geospatial locations can be answered with the help of special tools and special tools is one of the most important thing my next uh, videos on altrix will be on special tools tools so make sure that you are tuned in okay and you have subscribed to my channel uh, if you have liked this videos if you have learned something and anyway if i have helped you to uh, increase your knowledge or help you understand altrix in a different way then make sure to subscribe to this channel and share it with others i need your support so that like i can keep on creating these kind of videos for you all and help you in your uh, any kind of goals so that's all from my side for today thank you very much i'll meet you soon on different topics have a great day ahead